When I wake up in the morning, when the sun comes out to shine, I'm feeling fancy, I'm feeling fine, I'm watching the time at nine. Claire, you're up first. Number nine. Happy Monday. Here's something you might not know about hippos. Oh. They're built for the water, but they can't swim. Well, not really. Hippos have dense bones that cause <laughs> them to sink in deep water. They're just the right amount of weight, and this allows them to achieve maximum buoyancy, so they float and walk their way through the water. Uh, no, look at this swim. video. Look at this video. No. Wait, we're well, saying they walk? He was like water? running on the bottom of no. the water. That's is what a boat. they're saying. No, this Robin, is. Robin, haven't you been saying that hippos are extremely fast, or yes. have you been lying to us this whole time? No, they say they're incredibly fast. See, he's running. But the, the boat can't be, it can't be that shallow. There's yeah, a boat in the water. That. The boat's There's... moving that fast. There's no way the water yeah, is why, that shallow. Why couldn't it be that shallow? Because if if the hippo's feet are touching the ground, then there's a good chance the motor of the boat well, might touch the Well, how tall is a hippo? Do we know? Wow, that is a big head. I Look mean, come hippo. on. The size well, of they that said thing. it becomes buoyant, so it can walk on walk in the water. So it's so it's kind of just like barely touching the bottom and coming look, back Look how off. fast it is. We uh, need to get a hippo expert. We need, you know what? Or at least a height. How we don't have a hippo hippo expert on retainer <laughs> at this point? <laughs> for exactly. How much we talk about Thank hippos? Thank you. Same with the bears. And what I mean, to do? come on. Oh, bear versus a hippo. Oh, that's how about a good polar one. bear versus a hippo? That's one I want to see. Ooh. Polar Ooh, bear? A, let me see about that one. I don't know. Polar bears would, are they, bigger. Who's in their natural environment, though? Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying is polar bears can swim. Neutral oh. turf. We need to get them both somewhere else. Boy, that's a good one. <laughs> right, like it's, State and Madison. Yeah. Like a neutral. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> All right. We got to work at a hippo yeah. expert. You're right, Patrick. Add up to the list. All right, number eight. Here's another clip from our pals at So Yummy. Call these food hacks or whatever you want. Some of them actually work. Wow. Oh, yeah. Poached oh, egg. No. What the heck? There we go. What? Oh, you just put the hot skillet over. Oh, so you heat up the skillet and you put it over the cookie dough. Huh. A whole sandwich. Oh, cupcake sandwich. A great idea. These are getting better as the food's gone. What is this? What is that? It's a munchkin. What do they cut it into a flour and they made it into a star? Scissor flour cookies. cookies. Oh, sugar, oh, sugar cookie, cookie dough. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That uh, was fun. You obviously don't know your munchkin. You don't know Larry. your donuts. No, I yeah. don't. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Number seven. Behold the coat of the future. The Volabach Full Metal Jacket. It's made with copper conductive materials, so it's naturally antimicrobial. As you move, the jacket releases electrically charged ions that basically destroy any germs around you. It's about $1,100, but did we also mention that it's waterproof? I'm gonna see another angle of that. I couldn't get to see it, I was reading. It looks like it's got that acid wash look to it. Yeah. They, those would go great right with my hands. How, how much is it, Pat? Uh, uh, I think I just said it was $1,100. Yeah. What are the eyeballs on the top there? I don't get it. I think that's, that's the, the model mannequin. Oh, it's like a robot mannequin? Yeah. To try on the jacket? Right. <laughs> I got confused. So well, they're cheaper than models and typically smarter. So. Stop it, Larry. <laughs> you know nothing. As someone who did some modeling back yes. in the day. <laughs> <laughs> I know you find that shocking. All right, number six. Have you noticed something since the pandemic began? Maybe your roll of paper towels seems thinner, or maybe there are fewer chips in your chip bag. I kind of say this shrinkflation is what it's called. Big companies facing challenges are putting less of the product in the packages that are just a little smaller and they sometimes charge even more. Some cat food that used to be in cans that were 5.9 ounces are now 5.1 ounce for the same price. Similar thing happened during the recession in 2008. A consumer advocate points out people check the price most of the time, but they almost never check the weight of the package mm -hmm. they're buying. Wow. What the heck? Yep. I check it all, baby. Do I you? check price, I check unit price. Oh, yeah. 
That's how you got to pick out your paper towels and your toilet paper. You know how they're all on sale every week? And you don't know which one you get the biggest yeah, bang for your buck? You unit. look at the unit price. Yeah. yeah. That what tells is... you how much you're paying per square. Listen, not all of us have big anchor money, Robin. Some of us got to save some money. Well, I'm gotta just check confused. That unit price, is that baby. somewhere else on the price? That's, that's right next to it. There's the price, and then right next to it is the unit price. It's like yeah. on the store shelf. Maybe yeah. you should start doing the shopping yourself instead of having your maid do it for <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah, right. <laughs> you ever take one of those clickers like your mom used to have the grocery Remember store? The red? Yeah, it was like a little. $3.20. Oh, that was when he used to buy penny candy, Morgan. <laughs> oh. Number five, the king of English cheese is not made <laughs> where you'd expect it to be. In the village of Stilton, bar owners there want to make Stilton cheese, but the government won't let them. That's because a European Union law says there are only three towns in the UK where that smelly cheese can be yes. made, and Stilton isn't one of them. The pub owners are already making the cheese with the blue lines running oh. through it, but they're forced to call it something else. They say that stinks, and they will fight for their right to make Stilton and to call it Stilton. I don't understand the appeal of the cheese that smells really yeah, bad. I but don't get it either. You don't like a blue cheese? No. No, huh? Mm -mm. Love a blue cheese. You? Mm -mm. No? No. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're on your own, Pitt. That's fine. Right. All right, number four. 70s hair is back. From the Farrah Fawcett feathered look to the glam rock shag. Celebrity hairstylist Stefan Berlin says the originals are just inspirations. The 2021 versions have more texture and more layers instead of the fluffy, puffy look. The goal of the new look is to add some drama and width around the what's width around the face. Mm. Well, yeah, enough of that. Yeah, I don't. It is everything does come back though, right? That's not. But none of these look like uh, 70s. No. Do they? Well, that kind of does. That. Yeah. yeah. That's more like early 80s. Yeah. They all blend together for me. God, I had that. Which one? That, I might, see, that's I not even the typical fair as a kid. Yeah, it's, well, I had the mushroom cut when yeah. I was in, like, you know, that's fifth you. grade. But then when I, you know, got to, like, seventh and eighth grade, I was trying to feather it back like Farrah Fawcett. Like Farrah Fawcett, you know, with a yeah. big comb. Yeah. But I didn't have it How cut the you? right way. <laughs> you know, Who was so, cutting your hair back then? Um, her name so was Lisa. <laughs> that was anywhere? Lisa. And so, yeah, that's when we went, like got it cut. But then it's like it was so much work to blow it dry yeah. and do all that that who had that's the, all, who has it the never time. looked right. Yeah. It never looked right. Uh, number three. Here's another adult summer camp. If you're looking to feel like a kid again, uh, Camp No Counselors. Oh, There's boy. a <laughs> session over Labor Day weekend in northeastern Pennsylvania, and another one outside of Los Angeles in October. Uh, activities include beer pong, yoga archery, swimming. Should Just imagine all of yeah, these things happening. Say, it's imagine? 750 bucks. Oh, here's oh. the promotional video. It's another adult camp? Yeah. Yeah. All of my worst nightmares about a vacation. Yeah. I think you're seeing it right now. This is like a lucid dream watching this. It's like a. What if you were in your mid 20s, 20s yeah. not married yet? Yeah. Your group of friends did this. I yeah. would just go with my group of friends instead of yeah. involving a bunch of strangers. Okay. See, that's yeah. just but it, that's yeah. harder. It's not all. You got to plan it all. Yeah. Right. It's just plan for you. Because then you just go in the bar and hang out and try and meet people that way, which can work. And yeah. look at that. Oh, there's a phone fun. party. Yeah. Oh, there's a phone party. Now, now you're interested. <laughs> look at how much fun they're having. Oh, so much fun and whimsy. Fat. <laughs> just want to drop, so. drop cat right in the middle. Oh, God. <laughs> that should do that. They'd send him to Disney. I feel like yes. we can send you to an adult camp. No, they, you on. know what? I've had too much fun for one. <laughs> One, ten, ten yeah. years. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> All right, number two. Separate research by psychologists and economists shows that firstborn children have a slightly higher IQ and do better in school than their younger siblings. It's because parents are stricter with their firstborn child and also because they spend more on them. They use a no slacking approach and they spend more time reading to them. But by the time the other kids come along, parents are way easier on them and tend not to worry as much. The eldest child is 30% more likely to become a CEO or a 
politician and 7% more likely to aspire to stay on in education than their younger brothers or sisters. Hmm. Interesting. Number one, even if you were too young for the original Charlie's Angels, which aired from 1976 to 1980, you probably know about the reboots and movies, but did you know that in 1980, ABC made an attempt at a male version of the show. It starred old-time movie star Barbara Stanwyck uh, in, in, the, in the Bosley role, and it was called Tony's Boys. Uh. Oh, no. Oh, wow. What? I'm Tony. My husband ran the best private detective agency in the country when he was alive. Now that he's gone, I've taken over. And these are my boys, Bob Sorensen, Matt Parrish, Cotton Harper. Who's that guy? Uh, Bob that is a former boy. U.S. Olympic champion. And Cotton is a champion rodeo rider. Rover, oh, boy, I tell you, they really missed out mm -hmm. on one here, didn't they? Matt is a master of disguises <laughs> and weapons. Oh. have never seen this. Are you well, aired it once. It never yeah. made it past the pilot episode. Wait, what's that guy's name? The, the, this I, I he's, this guy's a real pole vaulter. The one who pole vaulted is, a re apparently I'm told he wasn't even an actor. Oh, really? really? He's just a pole vaulter. Yeah. Now, this guy's the one who looks familiar to me. He's been in a couple of his shows. That guy, <laughs> What? when Travolta left Welcome Back, Cotter, they yes. left this oh, guy. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Wow. He was the new Travolta? He was, yeah, hired when Travolta left. All right, I could see different crime plots needing a pole vaulter, but how many rodeo guys do you need? Right. Wait, you see well, a lot of crime be... plots needing yeah, a pole vaulter? Yeah, you always got to get on top of a building. Or... Yeah, but you always got to lasso somebody, too. Yes. Rope them, how you can catch Someone's somebody. running away. Yeah. Come on, Larry, that's crime fighting 101 right there. Yeah. Wow. So that's Bosley, I'm guessing? That's the Bosley. Boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Hmm. Woo! <laughs> Never seen that. All right, that's a nine and nine. I'm watching that.